President Donald Trump sent a letter from his private attorneys to Sen. Lindsey Graham, RSC, this week certifying that based on tax returns over the last 10 years, the president has no significant business ties to Russia. The letter, which was prepared for Trump by attorneys Sherry Dillon and William Nelson with the Washington, D.C. firm Morgan, Lewis and Bocchius in early March was delivered to Graham in response to comments he made indicating that he wanted his Senate Judiciary Subcommittee to look into Trump's potential business ties to Russia. The South Carolina senator said it would be helpful to have Trump tax returns as it investigates the matter, but he did not commit to subpoenaing them. NBC News Lester Holt asked Trump on Thursday, Can you tell us whether you, your family, your businesses, you surrogates, have accepted any investments? Any loans from Russian individuals? Trump responded referencing the letter forwarded to Graham from one of the most prestigious law firms in the country. I have nothing to do with Russia. I have no investments in Russia, none, whatsoever, the president proclaimed. He continued, I don't have property in Russia. A lot of people thought I owned office buildings in Moscow. I don't have property in Russia. The letter states with a few exceptions as detailed below your tax returns do not reflect, 1, any income of any type from Russian sources, 2, any debt owed by you or TTO, the Trump Organization to Russian lenders or any interest paid by you or TTO to Russian lenders, 3, any equity investments by Russian persons or entities in entities controlled by you or TTO, or, 4, any equity or debt investments by you or TTO in Russian entities. The letter lists the exceptions, which Trump also discussed during his Holt interview. In 2013, the Miss Universe pageant was held in Russia and a substantial portion of Trump's $12.2 million in foreign income reported on his taxes that year, resulted from that event. Additionally, in 2008 Trump Properties LLC sold and Palm Beach, Florida, Estate it acquired in 2005 for $41 million to a Russian billionaire for $95 million. Finally, the attorneys write that it is likely that Trump organization entities or affiliates engaged in selling goods or services to Russians during the normal course of business. Examples given included condominium fees, hotel rooms, rounds of golf, or Trump licensed products such as ties, books or wine. These types of transactions are not separately identified as Russian in the company's records, and subsequently would not be reflected as such in tax returns. The amounts involved are immaterial, according to the attorneys. Democrats continue to call on Trump to release his tax returns, with some stating they will not consider taking up tax reform until they see what the president has paid in taxes. Trump said he is open to releasing his returns once an internal revenue services audit is complete. However, I would never consider it as part of a deal, he stated. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and clicking on the PayPal link down below. Let the world know your thoughts on this. Western journalism helped contribute to this report.